What's good, John? I'm here with a few of the bulldogs, man. Thought I'd update y'all with a little video. What's up? Oh, man, so loving. Nah, nah. Should call him left tail. His tail been bent since a puppy. What's happening, bang? What's up, big bang? What's up, big bang? Yeah, so. Just coming out here to get these dogs fed straight. Eventually, my vision for this area, I want to. I want to get them all off chains. You know, I gotta. I want to get them off chains and into uh into you know concrete kennels. So that's the that's the vision. So I'm kind of letting y'all in on you know some of the early early uh early happenings. You know here at Ready Red. You know before you know certain things. You know some kennels that's big. You, you probably you didn't get to see the beginning of them, you know, before they before they had, you know, all their professional and nice quality setup. So I'm just showing y'all like, you know, our process and you know, the grind and everything that come with it. So, you know, eventually the the, the goal for this area is um first and foremost I get a trail on here, get the well set up. And and uh, then we're gonna put the concrete kennels down. Cause you know you gotta be able to spray that, spray those areas off. So for now they just on the chain. So just put that fence up yesterday. So yeah, so I got. What the? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? She always on the run. So yeah, I know these areas ain't the nicest, you know, dog houses. You know, nothing but Walmart dog houses for these dogs over here. You know. Over time they'll get better houses. Everything is a process. Trust the process, you know. Sometimes we want stuff overnight, but shit, it's all a process. Like for instance, this jip here. My little burns bitch here. She was um she was manifested, you know. I wanted her. Hmm, I was trying to get one probably two to three years ago. And then, you know, the opportunity came last year and, and I you know, I went ahead and and uh acted on that opportunity, you know. So shout out to her. She had to come over here cause she wouldn't be quiet. <laughs> so let's see. Watch out. Watch out, mama. We got another loud one. Another one loud. Look at it. Another one. Another one. Red boy Jocko stock here, man. What's up? What's up? Knock me down. Look. Look, look, look. Look how rough. What's up, mama? What's up? What's up? What's up? That's my little puppy. That's my little puppy. That's my little puppy. You getting up there. You getting big, man. What's up, mama? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Yeah, we just preserving the dogs over here, man. Don't never get the wrong ideas or none of that. Preserving the dogs, you know? And just doing that for, uh, Doing that, you know, we like a like a damn preservation zoo. That's all I am, a zookeeper. Preserving the dogs. See you know, these type of dogs. I feel I really do feel like it's a, a need to preserve them. Check, check her, she always this little female here coming heat fast. Yeah, it's a good need to preserve certain bloodlines, man. You know, a lot of dogs get taken and Lost and the sauce and all this and di different people breeding them certain type of ways. So, you know, I can say, you know, I'm preserving them for, for generations to come, you know. I grew up with this bloodline right here 
and her, you know. And so I'm thankful to uh there to, you know, put put some of these dogs in other people's hands. Man, I can't wait to wait till I get this yard right, man. When I get this yard right, I'm gonna get y'all. I'm I'm gonna have I'm gonna have it set up nice. I'm gonna give y'all a real uh, a real yard tour. You know, real nice tour. And then mud uh, nice. What's up? Ooh. Damn. Ugh. This raw and cut video. I ain't gonna edit that out. Mama is rough. A little bit of rough. Got it. Yeah, about to, oops, yeah. <laughs> she about to chew up my leg. <laughs> Just like her dad. What's up? She done broke her dog house. I got to put that back together. What's up, mama? What's up? What's up? What you barking at? Always got something to bark about. Always. What you complaining about now? What's up? What's up? Look how calm she is. That's what I like about her. She could be a house dog. She calm, relaxed. Had in the house with her last litter with Van. She was calm. You know. Open the door. She ran out, use it, ran back in. Real smart. She this the one off. She she straight off the yellow. She got that Mayday blood in her. Probably take her to Leo next rip. Ah, shit. But yeah, man, I ain't gonna show y'all everything, but I'm just showing y'all a few. Keep y'all posted, man. Shout out to uh, everybody. Ooh. Shout out to all the new, all the new, uh, let me fix this. Shout out to all the new subscribers who, uh, Shout out to all the new subscribers who just subscribed recently, man. And the count been going up at a de at a decent pace since I've been putting a little energy into YouTube. You gonna lose? You gonna? I'm gonna have to get you a herd and get you a new doghouse. Matter of fact, let me swap. I'm gonna swap out because you gonna mess this damn. She's so wild. Shit, shit, mess this doghouse up. That up. Hold on, I don't know if she wanted more space. She probably liked to have me like that. Yeah. Yeah, man. So I didn't really prep for y'all or nothing, man. I didn't. I didn't. Uh, you know, try to have had the area set up and all this cleaned out and all this for y'all. I just kind of just spontaneously made this video. So, so yeah. Look at her. She tried to attack me when I came up. She didn't know who I was. What's up, mama? What's up? You ain't you ain't remember me, huh? And you ain't eat your food neither. You wrong for that. That's why you losing weight. Come here. Like, that's what you want right there. That's what you want. 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 That's what you want, mama. Man, you ain't even eat that food. That's that's you something else. You are something else. Now I gotta lighten up on you. And I see you losing a little weight. Oh, she was butterball for the past few days. Now you wanna lick the bowl? Yeah, man, everything take time, bro. Everything take time. Look at that fireball trying to come up. Everything take time. So, I can't wait to come through, man. Probably, I don't know where I put it, but probably like across that side. Might, that might be all concrete. 
I might get it set up before I even use it and just have it, just have the concrete slabs poured, you know, and then add the kennels. And get somebody that, that can help me set it up right, man. Something long term, have the angle where, you know, the waist, you know, flow downward. And then have the, I think they have a PVC pipe or have a little crevice where they can, uh, where the uh, feces can flow down with, you know. What's up, mama? See, she got a, I gave her a good chain. She got a nice new chain, long. What's up? What's up? Talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me. What you say? What you say? What you say? What you say? What you say, mama? What you say? What you say? What's up? What's up? What'd you see? What'd you see? What'd you see? See, dogs talk. They talk back, man. They talk back. What'd you see? 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 Well, yeah, they talk back. Look at her. She know what I'm saying to her? That's my mama. That's my mama. I'm, well, I'm, I'm like, I think I'm two gener generations. <laughs> Two generations in on her. And one in on him. What's up, mama? What'd you say? Go find it. Yeah, man. But, yup, man. So, I'm just updating y'all a little bit, bruh. to my boy over here. This is boy here, man. He, I feel, I, he, he haven't, this little pup here. He got the blood in him, man. I'm gonna see how things go with him. He went through a traumatic experience as a puppy. He got into an accident, you know. And some people, uh, be, you know, please, please, if you, if you don't know about pit bulls, and if you crazy, please get off of this video. I should have said that in the beginning. But, you know, these are real pit bulls. They, that mean they, that mean they, uh, stop getting jealous. That mean they, uh, that mean that they, they, you know, are active. They, 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 they are aggressive at times as far as animal instincts and things of that nature. So as a puppy, he, uh, he, he did get into an accident with his, with his, uh, some of his siblings, well, his half siblings. They had the same size. And he was like double teamed and so uh, his spirit hasn't been all the way the same since then you know so i'm just working with him spending time with him you know and i could see him i could see his mindset you know his confidence coming back you know you just got to put in that love man sure, let them know they're all right they good keep working with them you know they got some dudes they specialize in taking dogs that other people don't want and you know treat them right and do them better and then boom got a better dog so but this dog here carry 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 the traits you know what i'm saying that i need you know real tight real tight real tight he got the blood you know so he a little bitty tank little red tank so i know he gonna should drop that fire but i'll probably start off breeding him privately see what we get and you know, some every dog ain't the best of the best. Some of them carry the blood, you breed it accordingly, and you get what you supposed to, what you've been looking for. So, but most of my males, I like for them to be, to be uh, best of the best, you know. But him, he got, he got everything. Only thing, he not super, uh, super active as far as hunting you know instincts looking for prey and things of that nature when you take them in the woods but he does uh 
he does have a good confirmation i like his confirmation only thing is that tail is broke that was it was like that since a puck but he remind me of as far as his appearance he remind me of red sassy and red sassy that was like that was like my one of my favorite favorites period you know off of some of these thug dogs and um you know right next to andromeda and um she was real nice so he remind me of her he got the same size as her and um i got high hopes for him you know if he ain't a girl you know ain't a total total uh <laughs> Hunter, uh, you know, I, I I might make him just a private dog, you know, just for us. So, what's up? Yeah, but I think he, he gonna he gonna be straight though. He went through that as I don't know three months or something. He's probably like 10 months now. Y'all, this horse shit right there. Neighbors always bringing horses up in here. But, you know, not since that gate, so I don't know. They ain't gonna bring nothing now. But, yeah, he, um, he gonna be all right. You gonna be all right, big boy? You gonna be all right? What's up? You gonna be all right? Yeah, so I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna shower him, shower him with love, give him the best attention. And you know, I don't mind making him a private stud, you know. You know, if you ain't if you if you breed something that, you know, might not be the best to others and you um keeping it for you, then it don't matter. It's just when you putting it out there. So him, I probably I'm probably just make him private. But I already know people gonna want stuff off him. I, I guarantee you watch people gonna want shit off him. Cause how I'ma breed him. It's gonna work, and I know he got the traits. His sire produced real good. We bred him real. To, we did a tight breeding to produce this male. I already know once he once we start sticking him. I already know. There ain't no rush on him. So I'll be our little backup. Hey, my boy. Hey, my boy. You always want some love. You always want some love. You always want some love. Look at it. The roosters are roosting, y'all. In the country. Shit, I've manifested this, man. I always wanted a spot in the country. I, I always, you know, I grew up in the city. You no, know, I, I grew up in really, let me see. I've been in big cities, you know. So, not just New Orleans. Detroit, shout out to Detroit, um, Phoenix, Arizona, Shreveport area, Boza City. You know, it, it ain't all that, it ain't big over there, but you know, I've been in different cities and shit. You know, and I always wanted, I always love animals. I always love, for one, dogs, but I always love animals. I used to watch Animal Planet all day. You know, so all this stuff manifested later on in life, it came. You know, anything you want to get, you can get it. Just, you know, be patient, work at it, be consistent, be persistent. You know what I'm saying? Because it's always, it's always a bump in the road. You know, and some people let those bumps stop them and they stay at that bump and never, you know, take a long time to go past it. Don't be that, you know. Be persistent. Be straightforward. Embody, you know, it's good. You know, if you look at the spirit, the historical meaning of gayness to the game dog, or the game, you know, a pit bull, which is a game dog. You know, if you embody that spirit, man, you'll get through a lot of stuff in life. You know, keep going and going no matter what. Don't let nothing slow you down, you know. And when things try to stop you, just, you know, just proceed forward anyway. Anyway, anyway, you know. Yeah. I'm just ranting, y'all. Whoever st still on the video, thank y'all for listening. I should have been stopped. I ain't mean for it to go this long. But, anyways, man, y'all have a blessed day, man. Love y'all. Shout out to all the new subscribers, everybody who rocking with me, who like the videos and comment. You know, if you share it, if you, whatever. If you bought a dog, 
if you plan on buying a dog or if you plan on sending a, a bitch down to breed with us, shout out to you. If you um if you bought a dog off of something that come from us, from somebody else, shout out to you. You know what I'm saying? So another thing, um, what I'm gonna say. Uh, oh, and since I since I said uh, anybody's planning on sending a female, if you do, if anybody who do have a female they want to send, you can send it to us, and we could do a breeding, and um, you can lead a female with us. You know, we got extra spots now, not over here, where we can put the females at. You want to whelp, let, let us whelp them and all that. We don't mind. I got extra. Uh, whoa, oh, I told him I, I was talking about females. He want to, he wants some. Oh, <laughs> that boy, he wants some kitty cat too. That was uncalled for. That was uncalled for. You ain't getting none now. You ain't going to get none. But yeah, we got extra spots, man. I got stuff. That um proprietary blend of herbs that I'm giving the females to help with with uh, producing eggs and and you know bringing forth healthier pups at birth and things of that nature. So we about to take it up and uh, up a few levels as far as health and uh, nutrition, tr tr nut additional nutrition added into their diets. So. So yeah, that's what it is, man. Anyways, I can go on and on. I'm keep I'm gonna keep dismissing y'all and keep talking. <laughs> but anyways, man, y'all keep doing what y'all doing, man. Feeding them hounds, spend time with them, man. Spend time with your family, you know. Work them, exercise them, and all that. Spend time with them. What's up? You trying to look? He trying to bite me? You trying to bite me? You trying to bite me? Look, he just turned on me. That's gonna be the name of this video. I'm gonna say Pitbull turns on owner. Had two million view, uh, videos. I mean views on it. <laughs> put Pitbull turns on owner. It's gonna go viral. When you put an aggressive uh, thumbnail in it. <laughs> Why you turning on me? Why you turning on me? Yeah. Build him up, man. Build up, build his confidence back up. Look at him. Look at him. See, he's showing. He's showing. He's showing. He's gonna be alright. Keep putting in that time with him. That's my boy. Yep. So y'all keep, man. Y'all keep doing what you're doing, man. Keep improving what you're doing. That's the whole thing, man, is just improving. Whatever you're doing, just improve on, you know, over time, whatever. Don't worry about what nobody say. And everybody ain't going to see your vision, you know, like you're going to see it. So, you, you know, I know a lot of dudes, a lot of y'all have kennel mates and kennel partners, and you want to do this, they want, ah, ah, you bit the hell out of me. You biting. He biting. Y'all, he biting. He biting. He biting. He biting. Try to bite me. That's a gator mouth pit bull right there. But yeah, y'all, y'all uh, got kennel mates and shit. You know, trying to slow you down. Don't believe in what you believe in. Don't understand what you believe in. So you can't, you can't worry about. You can't. I don't know, man. I, I don't, I don't really like that. I don't like people trying to stop me from. You gotta do what you want to do, man. You know, buy what bloodlines you want to buy. Buy what dogs you want to buy. You know, invest what you want to invest. You know, and keep it moving, man. You know? The dude was calling me, you know, let me see what kennel mate think. Let me see all this shit, man. Just, if you want to get it, get it. Do it, man. Do it and move the fuck on. If you don't like the dog, send it back. Send you something back, whatever. Sell it to somebody else. Keep it moving. Move on to the next one. Y'all be, some dudes be, be analyzing shit. You be analyzing shit for, just analyzing, calling it, you know? For years analyze man go ahead and do it man figure see what it is for yourself man you don't like it keep it moving that's all you gotta do is keep it moving just move on to the next i don't know what you be sometimes people be suffering from analysis 
paralysis. You know, they got man. Look, recently I don't know why. I don't know what it is. Recently I've been getting calls, calls at like twelve in the morning, two in the morning. You know, and then they call, and you end up talking to them. They don't even do nothing. They calling this shit two, three times, like, like you about to buy a dog. Then you tell them you dog, <laughs> and they don't even buy nothing. You know, I'm like damn. <laughs> I bet you if I had a little, they probably still wouldn't buy nothing. But if you tell them you got a dog or two, they don't even buy nothing. You know, calling at these late hours and don't even buy nothing. You know motivated then then analysis paralysis kick in and then become unmotivated you know so i i, I don't I, I i don't care me you know they call like that i don't answer but i put up the hours on ig and i'm probably gonna do that on the site people be calling i don't know why people think you know that we ain't got business hours i mean i be up but still i ain't about to talk dog i have done it but i, I don't know but overall i don't think it should be done be talking dog two in the morning 12 in the morning talking dog and shit nah nah call between 7 to 9 7 a.m to 9 p.m you can text or email anytime that's when you can you i don't care you text at 12 or 2 that's cool be like you know you can say call me and call me when you get up or call me tomorrow i'll be like All right. you know if it's after hours or you can you know but if, if it's during hours don't tell me call you you call me i don't I, that's one thing i hate i hate people call you uh, i hate when people text you and say say call me when you know they they spent more time texting than, than calling so so um but if it's after hours, but as far as ready red kennel sake if it's after hours just you know you just text me you can text me with you quick question or whatever like that or, or call either way so so yeah I'm just ranting, y'all. But yeah, man, I love y'all anyway, man. I don't know who watching, you know, the haters. Love y'all. They got a lot of little old haters and shit. Love y'all. All the new, all the positive energy I be getting from y'all, man. I love y'all. I be getting some dudes, you know, their wives be, be coming through, you know, uh, on their behalf and shit. Shout out to the wives who be, who be putting in the, um, Got wives be making it happen for their man, man. Some of the wives had one wife, her man was in jail. She trying to get the damn dog for him. Shout out to old dude I spoke to in jail out in Texas, man. Shout out to you. You know who you are. You're gonna see this. If you sit there and watch, this is how I'm gonna know if you're really watching my videos. If you comment on this, I know you watching. But shout out to old dude in Texas we spoke. I don't know, I thought about you. You, you, you commented on a few uh, posts and shit, so I thought about you. But, um, yeah, shout out to the wives who make it happen for their man. Make sure they get a dog, you know. Next step, we gonna. I want to put some dogs in. Um, we got a lady want one in in, Ca in Canada, but that's kind of that ain't far, you know. But uh, next step, look at, look at, look at, look at him. Ah, damn! I had his whole mouth in my whole shoe. Ah, you is a, you ferocious. You are a ferocious beast. You a monster. You a monster. It's funny. He, his brother, his brother's so smart. His brother, as soon as you, if you sound any type of aggressive, his brother run to the kennel. You know, uh, he know when he in trouble. He know, and he be run. He know when he did something wrong too, because he be guilty. As soon as he do something wrong, he run to that kennel. But yeah, back to what I was saying. Um, look at it. I'm trying to do it again. Zoom in. Can I zoom in? But yeah, um, damn. I be, I be, I be losing my train of thought. What the hell was I saying? Hmm. Oh, it was about the wives. Yeah, I think so. Something like that. Yeah, yeah, shout out to them making it happen for their men. Oh, and no dude in Texas. And, you know, everybody who support, you know, who want to. And then shout out to the people who be wanting to um, do business, but they just, you know, not not in position at this time to 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 be able to afford or do it, you know. And um, shout out to them, man, you know. 
Cause the God willing, you keep that, you keep your mind right, man. Stay positive. Everything gonna come to you. Just, just be ripe and ready for opportunity. And when you, when the opportunity present itself, go ahead, take, take care of it, man. You got people down in Louisiana, they can go get a Twit card. They don't want to spend $100, go get a Twit card, go get a better job. So they're going to work at fast food because they just want to get high. So I'm saying, when opportunity presents itself, go get it, man. I don't know what you be waiting on, you know. So, you know, only thing I don't like about these videos is, is, is I'm helping, probably helping my haters too. They probably come over here and listen to me and then they'll go copy and do what, do what I do and then talk shit about me and spread bad rumors. What's up? Yeah. But anyways, love y'all, man. Y'all have a blessed one. Take it easy.